same thing with the engine. Let me tell you, and I know I've told you this before, there is no right or wrong way. You can start at the bottom or the top or the middle or whatever. But for the purpose of training, we just always start at the top and work our way down because it helps you to remember Maybe, as yeah. you come across things, okay? So the first thing we want to do, tell her is that, all right, we're looking at all our hoses, okay? We're looking at all of our electrical connections. A quick look at all of them would indicate that you don't see any damage. You don't see anything that obviously it stands out, okay? You don't see anything that may be cut or broken or frayed or cracked, okay? Uh, clamps are in place. You don't see anything leaking. All the clamps are in place. Uh, based on what I'm looking at here with all my hoses and all my electrical connections, we should be in good working order, okay? Uh, next thing you want to talk about is your valve cover. That's right. Valve cover's not busted or cracked or frayed. Don't okay. see no leaks. That's right. Not missing any bolts and you don't see any leaks around. Now remember, if you do see some problems, what do you say? I will be sure to tell the shop about it when I get back. That's right. That's your, that's your catch-all cover for everything. Okay. All right. Next thing is uh, I want to talk about is the transmission, the oil, and the power steering. Okay. Now you're going to have to identify those to her. Transmission fluid, if you have to check it, you check it with the engine running. Uh, oil, power steering, you check those with the engine stopped, okay? And it's real simple, you pull it out and they got a high and a low mark, okay? Uh, unless she asks you to do it, don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Alright, this right here is, uh, what is this here? My coolant, Joe. That's right, that's for your engine coolant, okay? Antifreeze, so forth and so on. It's not broken, it's not busted, it's not leaking, it's not cracked, and it's mounted secure, so it should work just fine. Okay, when we're looking a little front, let's look at our belts. These are our belts. Uh, based on a look and a pull, uh, they seem to be uh, visually seem to be in good shape. They're not broken, they're not cracked, they're busted, they're not frayed in any way, okay? And they appear to be in good working order, and you have a play from a half to three-quarter inch, maximum three-quarter inch. You expect to have a half to three-quarter inch play, okay? Uh, looking at my fan itself, the fan visually looks in good shape. Uh, it is, in this case, a one-piece outfit, so you're not missing any fan blades, and all the bolts are in place, and there's no obvious signs of damage, so you should be in good shape with that as well. Okay? While we're talking about it, we're up here. Let me tell you, air compressor. This right here is the air compressor. Okay. okay. That air compressor is internally driven, so it's gear-driven. It's not belt. It's not attached to the belt here. See? It was right in here and attached to the belt, and I was turning it to be belt driven. It's gear driven compressor. Okay? okay. You will have to point that out to her. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, well, we're looking pretty good on all that stuff. Uh, just to let you know, you don't have to point this out to her. And this, I don't want to confuse you, but this right here, see this little piece sitting down here? Mm hmm. This is a belt tensioner. That's what puts the tension on the Tight belt. Hits. Yeah, it keeps it up. Keeps it tense. In other words, wise, uh, yeah, if you kind of tightens the belt. If you let it off, it, would, it might very well fly up there. Okay, that's what keeps the tension on. All right. Now let's see. Let's uh, let's start with this. Let's start right here. Okay, what is this right? Here? The steering linkage. Steering linkage is not broken, busted, cracked, frayed, not missing any bolts. Okay, what is this? The steering gear head. That's right. Steering gear head's mounted securely. It's not missing any bolts. It's not cracked or busted or damaged in any way. It should work fine. This Pitman is. Arm. Pitman arm's not busted, broken, cracked in any way, missing any bolts. What is this? Drag link. Drag link's not busted, broke, cracked, frayed in any way, missing any bolts, okay? What is that? Push rod. Not, no, swing arm. Swing arm. Not busted or broke or cracked or frayed in any way, okay? What is this? Brake chamber's not busted or broken, cracked, or leaking anyway. Should work fine, too. Not missing any bolts. What is this here? Push rod, a push rod and the slack adjuster. It's not it's a push rod. See this thing here in the middle? That's actually the push rod. Okay, it's not busted or broken or cracked or frayed. Either one up. They're not work, uh, messed up. And what's the maximum play of a slack adjuster? 90 degrees. No, one inch. I mean, one, one inch. inch. Uh, one inch. One inch. Okay, that's good. Push one inch. Hand, one inch. One inch. Okay. While we're here, what is this here called? Lee Springs. Lee Springs not busted or broken or damaged that we can see. No signs of damage to that. And the Lee Spring mounts are not broken or busted or missing any bolts that we can see. Looks to be in good shape. What is this? Shock absorber. Shock absorber. All the bolts are on that. Looks to be in good shape. Uh, what are these things right here? U-bolts. U-bolts for the Lee Springs. They're all in there looking good, not busted or broken. Based on what we see here, all the uh, the nuts are in place, should be in good shape. Now, what is that blue, black looking thing that goes across? Okay, the round black thing goes all the way across over here. Okay, that's a 
It's a tie rod. Tie rod's not busted or broke or cracked. Not damaged it. We can see it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Okay. Now, having said that, what is this? Frame. Frame's in good shape. Uh, just a quick visual of the front part of the frame. Doesn't seem like there's any damage, nothing broke, nothing obviously wrong with it. Okay. So, based on that, it should, should work fine as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're looking in the back of the tire. We're looking in the cover. Okay. If you can see down there, you'll see a little hole in the cover for the brake. Okay. You're going to tell her that you're looking in those holes. You're making a visual of the brake system. Okay. And what you're hunting for is discoloration, excessive heat. And you're also hunting for any obvious damage or leaking, okay? But based on what we see in there, there is no discoloration, no damage, no leaking, so it should be in good shape, okay? As we look at the wheel itself, around the edges of the wheel, we don't see where it's been damaged or bent or broken or busted anyway, okay? You don't hear any air, so it should be in good shape. The back of the tire is the same way. A visual of the back of the tire, I don't see any cuts, I don't see any bubbles. I don't see where it's broke or busted in any way. So based on that, it should be in good shape, the back of the tire. Now the tire itself, okay? The front tire should have a minimum tread depth of what? 432. 432. 432, and this one has, and a minimum of uh, 100 PSI. 100, okay, 100 PSI, okay? And which they do, the outside of the tire looks to be in good shape, not busted or broken or damaged in any way. Uh, you don't hear any air around the wheel itself. Uh, there's no signs of damage to the wheel, okay? The lug nuts are all there, okay? They all appear to be tight. If they weren't tight, you would see excessive rust. You need to tell her that, okay? Excessive rust. But other than that, they look to be tight. They're all present. They're secure. What is this right here? Hub sealed cover. Hub sealed cover is all there. All the bolts are in place. No sign of any leaking. No sign of obvious damage. Should be in good shape. And last but not least, let's talk about air stem. Okay, the valve stem itself looks to be in good shape, not busted or broken in any way. Now, when you look at something, if you look at this tire, obviously, if, let's say it's flat, okay, well, obviously, you're going to need to get it fixed, but when you're talking to her about it, you just tell her, hey, it's supposed to have 100 PSI, it hadn't got 100 PSI, normally, you would tell her, we'll tell her, we'll tell her about it when we get back to the shop. Okay, so in other words, that's your catch-all for anything that's wrong with it. Okay. Obviously, if you're low on air, you're going to have to put air on it. So that's a bad example, but you know what I'm saying? If you see leaking or something. All right, any questions about this side? All right, let's get to the other side. All right, same thing with this side. We're going to start at the top, okay? Uh, you're going to mention to her again that you're looking at all the connections. You're looking at all the electrical connections. You're looking at all the hoses themselves. You don't see any, any sign of obvious damage. Nothing's broken or busted in any way. All the clamps appear to be in good shape. You don't see any leaking. Based on that, all is well. and shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. Okay? This right here is the air filter housing. Air filter housing is managed securely. It's not busted. It's not broken. All the bolts are in place. It's secure. Uh, all the hoses go into it in good shape. You don't see anything leaking. No reason that shouldn't work fine. Okay. Go a little bit further down. We've already talked about the fan belts. Okay. Fan belt. We've already talked about the fan blades themselves. Okay. What is this right here? Alternator. Alternator. Alternator is not busted. It's not broken. It's not cracked in any way. Looks to be in good shape. All the bolts are in place. And you must tell her that there's two connections that are important to it. What are these the two? The positive and the negative. Positive red is red. And negative in this case white. is white, sometimes they're black. Red is always positive. Okay. Okay. Negative can be black or white. But you're gonna tell her hooked up with positive and negative. Okay. That's for that's for ground and that's for electricity. Okay. Okay. Down here, you see this right here? This piece right here. Mm -hmm. This water is a water pump. pump. Okay. That's all you really need to know about the water pump. It's not working, but it's not busted or broken or cracked, and you don't see any leaking in the water pump, so it's in good shape. All right, this right here is the frame as we discuss on the other side. Most of this is a lot of stuff we've already been through. Okay, the same thing on the other side. While we're at it, this right here, you see this right here? Okay, this and that. They both cut in hot air for your heater system. Okay, just so you know that somebody asked. All right, the frame's not busted or broken or damaged. Looks to be in good shape. All the bolts are in place, okay? Uh, the... Leaf spring. Well, yeah, leaf spring. I kind of jumped around in there. Leaf spring, leaf spring mount, U-bolts, okay? Tie rod, shock absorber. 
they all appear to be in good shape. No obvious signs of damage. Nothing's broken. Nothing's leaking. Uh, nothing's missing any bolts that I can see. It should be working fine. This is a washer fluid container mounted securely. All the hoses are in place. I don't see anything leaking. It's all not busted. So it should be working fine. This is brake chamber. The brake chamber is not busted or broken or damaged. Looks to be in good shape. Uh, push rod, slack adjuster. They're not busted or broken. They look to be in good shape. No damage. Maximum play of one inch. Okay. Once again, let's go inside the tire. We're looking inside the tire. You can see right. Can you see little holes down there? Back cover. I can't see nothing on this side because of the Right here, right here is what we're talking about. See it? Who knows? Thank you, Ken. You can see it on the other okay. side. All right, little hole inside the cover for the brake. That's what you're going to tell her you're looking. Now, she's not going to be standing up with your shoulder looking. So I'm not expecting you to crawl on her. Just say, hey, I'm looking in the cover, little slots in the hole. And I'm looking for what? Excessive. Discoloration due to excessive heat. Also, you're looking for any obvious damage or any leaking. But the key word is discoloration due to excessive heat. Okay. All right, don't see any damage in there. The inside of the wheel don't see any damage. You don't hear any air leaking. Looking on the inside of the tire, you don't see any damage. You don't see any swells in the tire. You don't see where it's bust or cut. Uh, no air leaking. On the outside of the tire, the tire tread, it's a minimal what? 432. 432 and a minimal air pressure of what? 100. 100, okay. Outside of the tire looks to be well as well. It's not busted or cracked or broke or cracked or cut or anything. rim itself, the wheel, okay? It's not busted or damaged in any way, okay? Lug nuts are all secured and not busted and broken. They are all tight. If they weren't tight, you would see excessive rust on the threads. You need to tell her that once again, okay? Hub seal cover is not broken or damaged in any way. All the bolts are there. You don't see anything leaking. No reason to think that's not working just fine, okay? And last but not least is the valve stem. is not broken or busted. Everything looks good with that. Don't hear any air leaking. It should be in good shape. Good question. That's the second piece of the pie.